Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to set your focus point when using the Z layer on your renders in Blender. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the top of Blender and just go new and add in a VFX shot. Now we have quite a few different options here at the top and I'm just going to click on compositing. I'm going to go ahead and switch this around a little bit. I'm going to right click on the intersection between the compositor up here and the dope sheet down here and then click join areas and join that. And then I'm going to right click again, right click and come up to vertical split and then split that down the middle. And then I'm going to change this window into the image editor and change the image view type to the viewer node. Now, if you have the node wrangler turned on, you can go ahead and click on it on your render layers, hit control shift click, and that will bring in a viewer node. And I'm gonna turn off the backdrop here. I don't need that because that will show up here. And that way we're not, we're not occluding our image with nodes over the top. Next, I'm going to hit shift A and search for an image. And then I'll click open. Now I rendered this image out and right here where it says layer, it says composite. And I want to change that to view layer. Now, as you can see there, I went ahead and just turned on every single view layer option possible. And this image is actually for another tutorial that I'm working on, which is why I did that. But for this particular tutorial, all we're going to be worried about is this depth channel and the combined channel. So let me go ahead and click on my renders layer and hit X to delete that and then control shift click on my full image and you can see here that we have a great looking image. So let's in our node editor here go ahead and hit shift A and search for a normalize node and then go ahead and take our depth channel and put that into the normalize node and then hit shift A search for a defocus node then we'll take the value of the normalize and put it into the Z value of the defocus. We'll take the combined socket here and put it into the image of the defocus node. Then we'll take the Z scale and turn that up to something like 20. And now if I control shift click on the defocus node, if I turn the Z scale number into something very high, you can see now that my car is in focus while everything behind the car is out of focus. But this can be a little bit cumbersome because it's really difficult to see where your focus point is. So instead, what we're gonna do is hit Shift A and search for a ramp and choose color ramp and then put that in between the normalize and the Z to focus. So now you can see that I still have everything connected as it was before. I'm gonna turn the Z scale back down to one and then I'm going to control shift click on the color ramp. And we can see here that anything that's black in this image that we're looking at will be in focus and anything that's completely white will be out of focus. So with just this color ramp, I can go ahead and change things by moving these sliders back and forth. And so in order to control where our focus point is, the best thing to do is click this little plus button right here and that puts in a new control point. And here at that control point, go ahead and take this down to zero. And then with the control points on either side, make sure that they are at 100% white. Now you can barely see the outlines of our image and some of the, the things in our image. So if I go ahead and take this control point left, you can see that all of a sudden, the closer I get to the left hand side of this color ramp, let me zoom in here. You can see this line right here. Whatever is on that line will be in focus. So let's go ahead and move this over here until the Iron Man is in focus. As you can see, maybe this bust back here of the robot head is pretty dark. So that won't be very out of focus. If I want to make that completely out of focus, I can just add in another point and change that color to black as well. And then just move these two points very close together. So now I just have this little line of focus going across my image. And to see that, I can just control shift click on the defocus node and then take the Z scale up to something like 20. And there you go. I have the Iron Man in focus. I have the car, the dinosaur, and the robot head out of focus. And the great thing about this method 
is if you want to animate these points, you can. Let's say to go ahead and have the focus move from one object back and forth. You can just go ahead and with the position here, select one and hit I, either in the color or in the position, and then move to a different frame, change the color or position and hit I again, and then you could change the focus, much like a, a conversation shot where when the person is speaking, they're in focus. When the other actor is responding, they're out of focus. You wouldn't have to do that manually. You could do that here in post, and that would actually speed up your render times in the end. So anyway, I hope that this has been helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.